All right, James. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with us. Absolutely. Uh, let's get it going. And uh -huh. um, we want to get some uh, old stuff out of the way. Okay. It was basically a Mike Pornoy's departure. And um, we would like to know how did you feel mm -hmm. at that moment? What went through your mind when he said, uh, you know, I made up my mind, I'm going to leave, or however he phrased it? Yeah. Well, initially, he, we had been all in the same room when he had suggested that we take a, an extended break. And um, at that point, we knew right away that, that we weren't into that. We, we felt that we had uh, created some momentum and that we wanted to keep it going. And um, we felt that, you know, we weren't at a point in our career where we thought we should slow things down. If anything, we thought we should keep hammering it, you know, and stay in the faces of our fans worldwide. So it was a little uh, unexpected at the time. Um, you know, he was out um, touring with Avenged Sevenfold at that point. And so it didn't completely surprise me because I knew that he was on tour with them. And so if we had agreed on taking an extended break, it would have made things much easier for him to, mm -hmm. you know, fulfill mm -hmm. the obligation much further than what he might have already agreed to with, with Avenged. Um, but then we said, you know, before we make any final decisions, let's think about it for, you know, a little bit and get back and have a conference call. And then when we had the conference call, that's when he said, no, he came to that. He came to a conclusion that he wanted to leave. And this was that, you know, he was completely aware of, of um, his decision and um, he was 100% decided that this was his direction that he wanted to go, that he wanted to break away from the band and do something else. So, um, you know, I mean, at that point, what do you do? I mean, it's, you know, you say, okay, well, it's unfortunate, um, but this is what you feel is, is necessary at this stage in your life, so, so by all means, you know, we're going to have to honor it, and that's what we did. But we knew immediately following that conversation that we had to keep things moving forward, and that's why... The whole Spirit Carries On documentary was what it was. You, everyone saw what we were doing. We wanted to not waste time and we wanted to continue doing what we, we knew we all wanted to do and that was keep the band going, do another album, do another big world tour. Yeah. Very nice. Um, Mike Mangini played uh, on, if I'm not mistaken, three of your solo yes, albums. Yes, you're right. You're correct. Um, kind of curious. How much did you have to do with the fact of inviting him to audition for you guys? Well, I mean, he was number one on my list. You know, we all uh, we all discussed, you know, who we wanted, who we thought would be appropriate to come in and do do our music justice. Mm -hmm. And um, so my first pick was uh, Mike Mangini, and my other one was Peter Wildur, who's now playing on my solo stuff. Mm -hmm. So I knew they were both fantastic drummers. I mean, Mike Mangini's just at a level of his own. He's very unique. There's a lot of amazing drummers out there, you know, worldwide, and they all have something unique, as something that is their own stylistically. Um, but I also knew by working with Mike Mangini on the three solo albums and being in the studio with him when he was laying down the tracks and just his whole understanding and his whole... Um, uh, he's very uh, immediate when it comes to being able to really sink into where a song is or where the music might be going. Mm -hmm. So I knew that was perfect for our situation in Dream Theater because it gets it's very complex at times mm -hmm. and it's very eclectic. So I knew that he could handle all of those situations admirably, and um, and he did. He he came in and he completely took took the uh, the stage and. He had us all going, oh my God, you know, this is incredible. So he was exactly what I thought he would be. He would be extremely well prepared, and not only that, infusing his energy, his vibe, his style, and we would feel something immediately that felt natural. It just felt like it was seamless. It did you look know? that way. Yeah. It did look that way. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me see, um, this is from one of the fans in Venezuela, they wanted me to ask you this. A lot of, uh, of the fans have been saying that your voice is 
better than almost ever. Mm -hmm. Do do you feel this Absolutely. way? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, my voice feels stronger than it's ever felt. It feels uh, like I did before I had the hematoma mm -hmm. accident. Um, whereas I could really count on it. It was there every night. It was, you know, I mean, if I got sick, granted, you know, any singer that gets sick, you're you're compromised, mm -hmm. and you have to do your best. So you give the fans whatever you've got in you, and you're hoping that it's enough to still make the show um, acceptable and exciting. Um, but yes, I'm in a really excellent place, a very comfortable and um, confident place vocally now, more so than I think I've been in the last 15, 16 years, really, you know, and um, it just feels amazing. It feels, I'm, I'm noticing the way that just my voice cooperates, it's what it used to feel like to me. I knew that if I had to go anywhere vocally, that it would, it would be there for me. So it's like my friend came back. Yeah, you're there, yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's all, it's all good. It's all great. I can, I, I, like I said, I haven't seen you on the last two tours, but uh, mm -hmm. I started seeing you guys back in a one on the Six Degrees tour. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that you now feel you yeah, know, yeah. that it's back. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> um, did we hear right that uh, you started working on your new album? Yeah, so absolutely, album, yeah. yeah. Um, Matt Gillery and myself, Marco Sfoli, um, is, is getting involved in the writing. Um, but all the guys, they're back, you know, that were on Static Impulse. Um, and I would say that we're probably about three quarters of the way through right now. Um, but it's exciting. I mean, we're, we're pumped. It's really exactly where we need to go mm -hmm. in the direction that we think makes sense coming from an album like Static Impulse. We're going where we think we need to go musically. And, um, you know, it's, it's once again, it's, it's heavy but it's extremely melodic, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I think that's one of the things that Matt and I are always looking into is that the music has to be infectious and the melody structuring both even musically and vocally has to be captivating. And I think that we've nailed that on everything that we've done up to this point. I can so, tell you I'm not a, a fan of uh, what is called Cookie Monster vocals. Yeah. And um, yeah. I got to listen to your album and I'm like, yeah. this is not bad. I, I do like yeah. it. I enjoy it. I do enjoy the album. Yeah. Actually, so. Well, you know, what uh, both Matt and I, we, we wanted to look at the screamo vocals, or you could say Cookie Monster vocals. We wanted to look at it more like a, an instrument, mm -hmm. another element to the music. We didn't want it to to be you know interpreted as a singer, mm -hmm. as a vocal. It was to just add a bit more dimension to the music. So then if you look at the way that it was used, it was used sparingly, but it was used very effectively. You know, ex extremely mm -hmm. effective in, in the sense that it just brought another vibe mm -hmm. to that particular song. And, um, you know, and that was one of the things that I stressed when we were getting into the recording st stages. As I said, I never wanted to become a focal point, I want it always to become that it's another instrument, as if somebody created another instrument to enhance the music. And, that, and we, I think we, we uh, attained our goal. In my personal opinion, that happens in the song within context. Mm -hmm. It's never in a situation where, like, why would they use that? Right. In my opinion. Right, right, right. So, cool. I, I like Excellent, that. excellent. <clears throat> um, when um, do you have a, a slated date for for this album? Do you have a planned date? Or I'm yet? hoping. Well, I I hope that we're in the studio September, uh, very beginning of October for the latest, and then I would like to see that it's released um, early 2013. Okay, I know you had trouble last uh, time around the to tour for this album. Yeah. Are you planning to um, tour for the next? You know one? what? It's all going to come down to what you know. Obviously, Dream Theater is always the priority. Excuse me, and I—I I, I mean, we all are delving into some side stuff. You know, like John Petrucci is working on another solo album. Uh, Jordan's working on something. Um, so, it's really where we feel that um, the Dream Theater machine will start up again. You know, we're we're. Um, our last show for this world tour is September 1st, and we're down in South America. And so as of September 2nd, we're on holidays, at least 
until January, mm -hmm. at least until then. And then, you know, it, if, if I saw that there was a window that made perfect sense, um, allowing me to do select shows in the States, allowing me to do some select shows in Europe, um, then I, I definitely would love to do it because I think the players are, are phenomenal. You know, they're all extremely talented. They're all ex they're they're committed to this music. They're they're not just doing it like a fly by night project. They want to be in there. They want to, you know, really show that they are um, passionate about what the music is doing, and they want their style and their input to make a difference. So I think to bring that back out on stage once again, because I haven't done anything like that since 2005 was the last time I, I went out in, in support of Elements of Persuasion. Um, so to bring that out again, I think it would be amazing. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that it would be a, a killer show each and every night, and the energy would be just right through the roof. And um, I think there's enough excitement that the fans would really appreciate it too. Just you make know. sure you come near the state of Indiana so I can go. Oh, no, no, absolutely. <laughs> hey, if anything, I'm telling you, if, if I'm talking about doing select shows in the States, Chicago mm -hmm. is are one of those dates. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'll be here yeah. if you have to. Mm -hmm. um, now that you mentioned that uh, Dream Theater is going on holiday after September the 2nd, yeah. uh, I think it was Petrucci who said something about you guys already kind of writing something for the next album. Well, I think, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> what's going on is during sound checks and uh, sound check, uh, we are um, just, they're up jamming and they're jamming on ideas and they're feeling it out which is really cool because that's where Mike Mangini you know because he wasn't present when we recorded uh, a dramatic turn of events this is really him getting his you know his hooks in there and letting us hear him when he's starting to add to the music and it's amazing it's really cool I mean he just immediately falls into a groove or even if you're playing something very complex he's just gone he's taken it to another level it's beautiful it's beautiful so it's exciting and, it, and it's really creating these seeds that we feel are wow you know what that's amazing we gotta so we're documenting everything so that when we do finally go into the studio there's already these ideas that are pretty solid really so solid. Is, is it a given that you guys will go into the studio, into studio, the studio next year Oh, definitely, yeah, we will, and, and Mike Mangini will be there from day one to day done. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to do what, what you've been doing before, where you be there, you are there with them yeah, to, absolutely. you know, to get everything absolutely. in? Absolutely, absolutely, for Great. sure. Yeah. Um, there is a question that I, it's been bugging me since this whole... Get it off your shoulders, man, get it off your shoulders, yeah. It's a jam records, the official bootlegs. Mm -hmm. It was... I'm gonna say pretty much Port Noise Baby and mm -hmm. Petrucci had a lot in it. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen with that? Did it die? Or are you no, guys no, hoping to die. pick it up? Actually, I have a whole bunch of. Um, I've been taking care of that. So I've got all each night's recordings mm -hmm. and I've documented it. Mm -hmm. And there's so much stuff that from all around the world mm -hmm. on this last tour that I already have documented it mm -hmm. and put into it like a master mm -hmm. list that these particular nights and what I did is I took them from certain areas of the world mm -hmm. and that and it sounds incredible it's just a matter of it making sense for us when we're going to release the next Yet Say Jam mm -hmm. but it will happen I can guarantee you it will happen um, at this point it's not priority because we're shooting a DVD in Buenos Aires mm -hmm. for two nights um, come August uh, geez, I hope I'm right with these. Uh, the 19th and 20th? Or the 18th and 19th? So. Yeah. It's not one of those days. But at Lunar Park, which is a beautiful venue down in Buenos Aires. And so we're going to uh, shoot down there. So right now, that is the priority. And that will take precedence over any NC Jam recording. But it, it, the stuff is there. Right now, we have more than enough that we could release an amazing Yes and Jam release right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. So, it's just going to be when we feel as a band that, you know what, okay, let's mm -hmm. finally put it together and let's get it out there. And, and uh, you know, 
uh, I have a few ideas where it could be really uh, something cool, some added features that could be really, really cool, and and the other guys are are involved too. So it's very collective as to how we want it. The first mm -hmm. Yeti Jam, post Mike's mm -hmm. um, involvement with all of those uh, previous Yeti Jam, we wanted to to really have a big impact. So it's it's going to be cool. Great to hear. Yeah. Great news. Mm -hmm. um, that show in Buenos Aires, are you guys hoping or planning to shoot that in high definition so it gets oh, ready yeah. to Blu-ray? Absolutely. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. You know what? There's there's some things going on that we have planned for that DVD that are it's just going to be okay. stellar. Excellent. It's going to oh, be I, I can't wait. awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We're pretty stoked. Great. Yeah. Um, how, how, how do you feel about the reaction from the fans since you guys have started touring for... Oh. A dramatic um, towards having Mike Mangini now. It's been, we couldn't have, it couldn't have been any better. Seriously, uh, you know, the reaction to the album initially when it came out was, was excellent. Um, and just the tours that we've been doing all around the world, it's been overwhelming. Um, everyone is positive, everyone has embraced, you know, as far as Mike Mangini goes, he proves himself every, each and every night. He's, if you haven't seen him, once you have seen him, you know, you're convinced, you're converted. <laughs> and, he, you know, he, and he's just, he's, he's such an amazing musician. And, you know, I've said it before, and it, it's infectious. It just goes out and he's this great big smile. It's a grin from ear to ear. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. You know, we're having, it's, it's just a, a whole new lease on the band, you know, it's another chapter for us, but it's it's just an amazing ride. And the whole world tour has been like that. It's been an amazing ride and we're loving what we do. So the the fans have only, you know, accentuated that and it's it's um it's made it really apparent to us that, you know, uh, great, you know, the fans are here for the band. They they we delivered what we thought and what we still believe is one of our best albums, and the fans completely took it and have taken it, and uh, yeah. So the the whole reaction and, and experience for us has been through the roof. It's it's amazing. It's beautiful. Great to hear. Great to hear that. Uh, ask you this already. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. This one is also from one of the guys in Venezuela. Um, All right. I'll let you know if I like him after you say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. um, there's, there's been a lot of talk that with uh, dramatic turn of events, you guys are going back to basics, back to dream theaters, roots. Mm -hmm. A lot of the fans tend to think yeah. that way. Yeah. And as you can imagine, the, the talk has started already of, are they going to do another concept album? Mm -hmm. um, I know you're, you can't tell me if you're going right, to or not, right. but has it been <clears throat> talked about at all? You know, we may I mean, do it at some we, point. We discuss that all the time. It, it's a matter of when we really feel that it will be the time to do another one. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, we, it's, it's definitely been brought up in discussions. Um, but, you know, we want to make sure that when something like that happens, it's for all the right reasons, and it's because we feel that the music is just lending itself to that, you know, and um, so, uh, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to say whether the next album is going to be a concept, but, you know, it, it is in the horizon that a concept album is going to make sense very soon, you know, in, uh, in Dream Theater's career. So, um, and, you know, it's, uh, it's going to have to be something that we feel really brings it up a whole other level, you know, something that we can really see because I mean like scenes from a memory was a, such an incredible album and it was so well received by the fans and it just put us on a whole other connection and, and relationship with our fans around the world that this one has to you know when we do it has to be the same it has to be the same and if not especially just as good if not better you know the same kind of a experience and reaction I understand yeah. makes sense um See, ask about the It's a Gem stuff. Back during the falling into Infinity Air, 
Uh, it was, I believe, during Christmas. You guys did uh, some shows that were semi-acoustic. You know, you guys were pretty much sitting and playing music. Oh, um, you mean the acoustic stuff? Uh -huh. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Which I love those shows. Yeah, yeah. It, Same here. I, I love doing acoustic environments, yeah. yeah. Um, will that ever yeah. happen again? Absolutely. I mean, I, I've... Uh, uh, I've been one to say to the guys that you know, there's going to come a time that we that we should go back out there and just do a whole tour that's based around an acoustic setting and make it really intimate and very personal and um, you know just create all these different feelings around the music that has already been put out there, by creating you know some cool little vibes and variations of these songs and. Um, Definitely want to do it, and I, the other guys are all for it too. That once again, you know, it, it has to fall into an area that we feel this is the time to do that, and this makes perfect sense, you know. Because we also have hanging over our head, you know, when, when do we want to come back and do an evening with? Because we all want to, but we have to feel that we're doing that, not just for the sake of doing mm -hmm. an evening with. And I know, we, we, we all know that, you know, I'd say maybe all of our fans would love to see an evening with, you know, um, again. So, uh, you know, we know that it would be something that would be, it would really be an exciting situation. Um, but once again, you know, what are we trying to do in that particular tour? But, um, so, there, yeah, I mean, the acoustic thing. An evening with. I mean, there's just there's so much to to the to, covers. Yeah. The covers also up there just waiting covers, for the right moment. You know, like I mean, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it's endless, right? You know, it's it's so easy to just go. Work, you know, but no, we're we we've been discussing a lot of this these very facts, and I think that it will all um, come to be at the right time. Yeah, and it, they will definitely come around again, though. Absolutely. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, how are we on time? Uh, okay, no, we, we need to wrap it five up. Five minutes. Five yeah, more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the the set list for uh, the South American tour. Um, yeah. It will it vary uh, from what what is being shown here in the United States. It will vary. Um, well, definitely. I mean, on the DVD, it's it's definitely mm -hmm. going to vary because we're shooting two nights. So there are there will be some substitutes going on mm -hmm. with that. Um, as far as the rest of South America, the fact that you know you know I mean we're only going into uh, Guatemala one show, we're going into El Salvador one show, we're going into Costa Rica only one show. You know, so it's so to us it makes sense that we're going to just probably there's going to be a master set that we do for those countries where we're in Bogota and Colombia it's the same thing right mm -hmm. we're going in one show so anything like that it, it will probably it'll be the master A set and then as I said the, the DVD will, will be switching some, some songs around alright excellent mm -hmm. excellent um, I think we have covered um, most of the ground okay. um, one more question from these guys what is your favorite song out of the new album to sing live. Uh, this is the life, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just it's a beautiful song. I mean, it's it's so dynamic. The melody is gorgeous. The words are very powerful. Um, just just the way that it, it just builds and it builds to this crescendo. You know that it's 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 gorgeous. It's it's a beautiful song and it's it's a vocalist ultimate situation for expression. You know, and to really be able to put your heart and soul behind it, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. That's definitely my favorite to sing off of this album. Yeah, great, great yeah. stuff. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to uh, send a greeting for the yeah. fans uh, in Venezuela, it'll be great for them. Okay, hey everyone in Venezuela, we love you and we hope to be coming back extremely soon. And um, we appreciate all your support throughout the years and. Uh, we know that you love the music, you're, you're completely into it, and uh, we do, we, uh, we appreciate it. your loyalty and your commitment, and we look forward to our next rendezvous. Thank you very much, yeah. James.